Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to submit a service request using the BMC Digital WordPress Catalog REST API via Postman. Digital WordPress Catalog REST API follows the REST architectural style, so resources, HTTP verbs, and status codes are used. JSON is used for request and response bodies. The shown base URI is used for calling the BMC Digital WordPress Catalog server. Call the API endpoint from the fulfillment application host URL. If the host URL includes a port number, include the port number in your request. As we can see some examples of the base URI. Also the default header, unless an API endpoint requires a different header, the following header are required for all the requests. The default bundle scope, content type, and X requested by. I'm going to show you in a demo how to submit a service request for report an issue DWPC service via Postman. For our demonstration, we're going to use the Yeta Workplace and the Yeta Workplace Catalog version 22.1. So before to proceed uh, requesting a service using the Yeta Workplace Catalog REST API via Postman, uh, let's check first how the service looks. Okay, so for that, let's log in with an end user. Let's go to catalog. As we can see here, there is a service named report an issue. So as we can see here, there are three elements in our questionnaire. Issue summary, issue details, which are text fields, and we have a last one, attachment field. So now let's proceed to submit a request using the Digital WordPress Catalog Reverse API via Postman. Now we are using Postman and I have previously created a Postman collection that we are going to use for our use case. Uh, the first step to perform is uh, to generate our token, right? Um, the authentication, um, to be able to make a REST API call, we need to log into the Digital WordPress catalog server using the login, uh, user login endpoint to be granted a session token, which is valid for about 30 minutes. So as we can see here, we have a post method and this is the endpoint. So if we go to header step, as we saw in the slides, uh, these uh, three he headers are the most common use for our request with uh, those values. So let's go to body tab and let's use the following. With these credentials, we're going to generate all our requests from Postman. Right? So now let's hit send. And as a re response, we can see the token generated. Right? So let's proceed to our next step, which is to search for uh, DWPC service. Now let's search for a DWPC service name report an issue. For that, we are going to use this uh, endpoint, the post uh, method. Um, if we paste this endpoint, automatically maps the params that we are going to use. Uh, for instance, page per page, sort byte, and sort direction, which those values. So. Now let's hit send. And now as a response, we can see all the listed uh, DWPC services. Now in our lab, we have uh, some uh, services built. So now let's search for our service report an issue. We have this ID, 103. So let's copy it and this value we're going to use the, for the next request, right? So now let's proceed to initiate a DWPC request. So let's initiate a DWPC request. 
um, if we are going to use this uh, endpoint with a post method. So remember the previous uh, service ID of the service, which was 103. So now let's use it in our body. And now just let's hit uh, send. Okay, it it uh, retrieves uh, service ID and the request ID. Okay, with among other uh, values. Okay, for the uh, value that we are going to use in our following uh, steps is this one, the uh, request ID. Okay, so now let's go to get service questionnaire for that service. Now let's proceed to get the service questionnaire. For that we're going to use a get method with this uh, endpoint. In the endpoint, we must include the ID of our previous step, which is 612. So for that, we just only hit send. And as response, we can see here the questionnaire ID, which is the 401. We're going to use it for later requests. Uh, so as we can see in the response, we have the description of, of, the, of, one, of the corresponding questionnaire. So for here, we can see a type text field with this ID and the label, which is a issue summary. That's the first question. The second question is a text area. And the label is issue details. And the last one, which type is type attachment. The same label attachment. And that's all the questions that correspond to our service. So now let's go to send answer to our first question. So we have here three questions. We're going to submit a request for each question, right? So let's go to send answer to a question. Uh, before uh, to send an answer to a question, let's summarize the info that we have so far. Okay, so we have the in the initiate a DWPC request, the request ID, we have 612. For get service questionnaire, we have the response ID 401. And for each question, we have the, the proper uh, ID, right? So let's proceed to submit the first answer for our first question. So for that, let's choose uh, this uh, endpoint. Uh, for that, just we're going to to use the request ID in the endpoint. Okay, so let's copy the request ID, which is six one two. Okay, and for the body, let's use the following. which includes the questionnaire ID, the question ID, the answer, the service request ID. Okay, so for that, we're just uh, hit send. Well, the response, uh, we have this one. And now let's proceed to send our second uh, question. So let's send our second answer for the second question. So for that, let's just copy the body for the first answer. And here we can just change the ID for the second question.
and also we can change the answer. For instance, we can use this. Uh, the request ID, also make sure to have it in the endpoint. And let's hit just send. There you go. We have already submitted the second question. So now let's submit our third one, which is an attachment. Okay, our last question is to upload the attachment. So we are going to split this uh, activity into steps. Uh, first, let's prepare the attachment. It means let's upload the desired attachment. For that, we are going to use a post method with this endpoint. So let's proceed to upload the, the file. For that, let's just put it uh, here. Next select file. Next select the file. For instance, this txt file. Okay. Let's go. Let's click send, and the response is the content ID. Okay, so let's copy this, and then we are going to submit an attachment to the request previously submitted. Okay. Okay, we are almost done let's uh, submit an attachment so for that let's copy the previous uh, answer that we have submitted and here we can replace uh, the value for instance the question id corresponded to the attachment is this let's replace it And the answer will be the content ID, which is the response for the attachment. Okay, the service request ID is 612. Let's put it here in the endpoint as well. And that's it. Okay, this is the third and last one question for the service. So let's hit send. We have already submitted the three questions, right? So let's proceed to submit a single DWPC request. The last step is to submit a single DWPC request. For that, uh, we're going to use a post method with this uh, endpoint. So let's um, complete this URL. Let's check our info. Uh, first, we are going to use the service ID, which we got it for the search all the WPC service from here. And let's put it in the endpoint. And the request, the request is the 4612. Uh, we got it for the initial that is WPC request. Right. So that's it. Let's hit the uh, send. Here is the response. The ID 502. And we have another ID 612. Right. The, the first ID corresponds to the order ID. Right, and the second ID corresponds to the DWPC request ID. So now let's validate from the backend. Now we're logging in DWPC with my admin credential. So let's check for the service request. Here we have the request ID created, and it creates an incident. Right. Here we can see the request ID and the order ID. Okay, so now let's check from 
the end user. Let's proceed to login with the user we, we use in the authentication step. Here we can see the request. So let's compare. This is the request ID, 612. Here we can see the issue summary the issue details and the attachment here. So now let's check the bucket ticket, the incident ID. <coughs> this is one, seven, one, oh, two, seven, one, oh, two. Okay, here, here we can see the notes, the summary and the attachment. And that's it. You can get the Postman collection from BMC communities. Just search for this title or search for this article number and are attached the Postman collection and also an extended documented version for this knowledge article. Thank you. Please visit the BMC Remedy and Discovery channel on YouTube. There you can see other related videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, then you can be informed for future videos. Thank you for watching.